All right, Doc Positive here at the Paws Veterinary Clinic, and we have this kitty cat that people found, been hanging around their house, kind of a, a mangy, uh, beat up old Tom Cat looking cat. Here he is here. Uh, he's got that sore on his nose, and he's not a Tom Cat. And how I can tell is because if you look at his ear, you look at this ear, and then you look at that ear. And that's not a wound. He is ear tipped, which means when he was neutered as a feral cat, ear tipping is done to permanently identify a feral community cat as already neutered. So that if people were feeding them, taking care of them, if they would happen to trap that cat again, they would know immediately by looking at his ear tipping that he's already been neutered. So that's a convention almost worldwide for feral cat communities to permanently identify them. But these people found him. He came in for that sore on his nose. But he's got sores in his mouth. And, you know, so right away we are going to test this cat with this test called a feline combo test. We got a blood sample from him and we're checking him for the feline AIDS virus. Is your cat protected against feline AIDS? Because consider this, feline AIDS is deadly. If your cats go outdoors, they're at risk. There is a vaccine. Now this is feline AIDS virus is more prevalent in these tom cats or male cats that uh, bite and fight one another. It's transmitted through biting and fighting, deep wounds transmitting the FIV, feline immunodeficiency virus. And uh, there is a vaccine available for that, but uh, these community cats, feral cats, are usually not vaccinated against it. So we are going to run a test and we'll know shortly if our uh, unfortunate kitty cat here is infected with FIV, feline AIDS. Awesome! We have our test results for the feline leukemia and the feline AIDS. And that test, one dot, is a negative for leukemia, negative for AIDS. Also test cats for feline heartworm. So now we're going to get more blood. Send it out to the lab, submit our request, because we're going to check this cat. It's kidney function, liver function, a CBC, complete blood count. Looking at its white blood count, red blood count, organ function, and see what other problem. We always start off with a leukemia and an AIDS test on these kitty cats, because uh, leukemia and AIDS, neither one are particularly treatable, if at all. So... We make sure the kitty does not have something not treatable before we look for something that may be treatable. More to follow. Bye now.